Today guys, I bring you this amazing glitch which allows you to stack damage to a point of view literally one hitting everything in the game without the risk of losing what you have stacked like previous glitches we've seen over the past week. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and today I bring you another Borderlands 3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps me out and subscribe if you want to see more. On screen now you can see my weekly giveaway along with last week's winner. To be in with a chance of winning this yourself, simply make sure you are subbed and have that notification bell button ticked. Drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. Okay, so this glitch is brand new and it allows you to stack damage on a basic unlike anything else out there at the moment. Osterberg posted a great glitch a few days ago which allowed you to stack damage via having a shield much like the one you can see on screen now which you get certain benefits via the shield being depleted whether that be movement speed, weapon damage, melee damage and so forth that glitch was achieved via you dying and respawning this somehow stacked the benefits of said shield you had on massive problem with this glitch though which in my opinion made it kind of pointless unless you use it on flak is the fact that when you lose your shield in battle you lose all the stacks you accumulated via dying and repeating this process so it makes this glitch a little pointless playing against harder foes in places like mayhem 4 and the uh, maliwan raid now my glitch today's glitch allows you to stack damage much like the glitch i just mentioned but you don't have to worry about losing those stacked benefits so what you need for this is a certain shield and a certain legendary weapon. The shield you need is the Road Rough Rider. The weapon you need is the Face Puncher. So how this glitch works is actually really simple. Go into your inventory making sure the Road Rough Rider is equipped. Then you simply unequip and re-equip the shield. The more you switch this in and out, the more the damage stacks. And this is where the face puncher comes into play because as we know the face puncher's damage output is increased by melee bonuses from all sources so stacking this shield's effect increases the damage output of the face puncher now word of warning you will know when this stacking is working because when you leave your inventory you'll hear that shield depletion sound this sound gets louder and louder with each stack so be careful when leaving your inventory that you don't blow your eardrums now i will mention this glitch only stacks for the one visit you are inside your inventory so if you stack it 10 times then back out and go back in if you do try to stack it again you will lose the first 10 stacks I mean, don't worry about going into your inventory as long as you don't switch out of your shields. So it's best to go into your inventory, stack this as many times as you want, and then leave and be done. Then just do not switch your shield out. I will put a chart on the screen now for the amount of switches you need to stack said amount of damage, so I hope that helps you out. Now, it's probably best to turn down your volume if you stack this, let's say, 50 times, because when you do leave your inventory, you'll be deafened by an extremely loud sound. So remember to turn down that volume when you leave your inventory. Now, the downside to this glitch, you can't use any other shield. You have to keep on that road rough rider after stacking. You can't quit out to main menu or you lose the stacks. And you can't, by my testing, have any shields at all. So you can't use an artifact which gives you additional shields. This for some reason takes away those stacks. So stay away from anything that gives you said shields. There might be a workaround for this though. I will test it further. Good points. You can die. You can fast travel. And as you may know, even without those shields, you can still have additional health benefits. The Rough Rider shield itself reduces all incoming damage by 23% and you gain plus 35% max health. You can also use artifacts which give you additional health too if that's what you want to do. I will add this artifact, the Grave, also gives you melee damage benefits for that face puncher. So use what you want to here. Also your certain skill tree builds like my Zane one, which is based upon resilience and health, as you can see. Although I have no shields, my build makes it so I recover health pretty fast, which is amazing and works great with this glitch. My Zane build, you can see on screen now. But yes, with your certain skill tree builds on every other Vault Hunter, I'm pretty sure they can be built up around said benefits, which will work amazingly with this glitch. So yes guys, stack the damage using those shields and take advantage of the effects. If you stack long enough, you can literally destroy it all within seconds, it's amazing. Now thanks to Adamant for supplying me with the Road Rough Rider shield. So yeah guys, take advantage of this glitch while you can. Use it to farm the new raid, farm anything for that matter, and I hope it helps you out. I will leave you to watch what this is capable of if you do stack long enough. So enjoy that. 
But on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Going down!